The King's Avatar, Chapter 1509 Falling Short, Audio Source, Wuxia World Audiobook.com Chapter 1509, Falling Short Translator, No Yummy Editor, No Yummy It had only been a short moment, yet all sorts of changes had taken place. The lesser skilled players might not even have been able to recognize what twists and turns had happened. With help from the sacred fire from and when Yi's little cold hands, Yi Shu's Lord Grimm and Su Machung's dancing rain were finally able to convene. It wasn't over yet though. The two had established contact with each other, but it was far too early to say that they had escaped from tyranny. By this time, Desert Dust had recovered from the sacred fire. Again, he took the shortest path and ran towards the two at his fastest speed. In the meantime, the two tyranny gunners weren't stingy with their ammunition. Lin Jingyan's dark thunder was also moving towards the front to stop the two from leaving. The situation looked to be advantageous for tyranny, but this time, Zhang Xinjie didn't dare let out a sigh of relief. Little cold hands saved with the sacred fire had happened once and it could happen again. However, this time, Little Cold Hands was being watched with great attention, making hard for him to even find an opening to cast a heel. Under Zhang Xinji's instructions, the two gunners were keeping an eye on him. Happy had others though. Feng Rui, even if Lin Jingyan, who understood him inside and out, was on the lookout for him, it wasn't enough to make them feel at ease. There was also Luo Ji's summoner, Concealed Light, who had yet to appear. What is Concealed Light doing? Finally, it wasn't just Zhang Xinjie who was wondering, Pan Lin and Li Yibo had started to talk about this question as well. The broadcast also found an opportunity to switch to Luo Ji's perspective. Concealed Light was moving. That was all the information they could get from this angle. For a moment, it was impossible to tell what he was planning. The broadcast could not put the focus on him entirely. After all, there was an intense battle taking place on the other side. Moreover, Luo Ji was a rookie at his first playoffs game. In reality, more people were worried rather than expectant of him. In the end, the broadcast left a small window for concealed light, but not long afterwards, the scene in the small window changed. Boundless Sea Feng Rui's Boundless Sea was put into the small window instead. The broadcast figured that Fang Rui's actions were more likely to become a turning point for Happy. Boundless Si lowered his body, hiding amongst the underbrush as he moved. He moved slowly but resolutely. His line of sight was fixed AED of him. He evidently had a clear plan in mind. The camera focused on where Boundless Si was looking at, Lord Grimm and Dancing Rain. Tyranny's two gunners were controlling these two's movements brilliantly. Zhang Jolly's Hundred Blossoms style interfered with their vision, while Qin Muyin relied on his outstanding positioning skills to predict and seal off their most optimal retreat paths. The two attacked at a wide angle and moved accordingly. As a result, even though Lord Grimm had a shield, he was unable to defend against simultaneous attacks from two sides. Healer, be careful. Yi Shu's own situation was worrying, but he couldn't help but warn him when Yi. Zhang Jolly's dazzling hundred blossoms formed a wide angle with Qin Mu Yun's negative nine degrees, while pushing closer to little cold hands. He was no longer simply keeping watch out to him, but preparing to attack him. Although in when Yi lacked experience, he never lost his cool or his ability to reason. He had been taking note of Zhang Jolly's movements even before Yi Shu gave a warning. But at this moment, even though Yi Shu had pointed it out, he still didn't move. What is he doing? Many Happy's fans were becoming dissatisfied. Even though in when Yi had just performed a miraculous save. As a player who had always been deemed as Happy's weak point, there were still many players who took particular note of them, worried that he would make a careless mistake on the stage. Yi Shu had just warned him despite being in such a predicament, yet he still wasn't going to move. What is in Wen Yi doing? Is he so focused that he can't see the Tam chat? That shouldn't be right? Could he be too nervous? Uh. 
the more Pan Lin talked, the more he felt that he was wrong. Nervous. Did Happy's rookies ever feel nervous? Tang Ru, Bao Rongxing, Lo Fan, and Wen Yi. All of them were first-year rookies. There were times where their unfamiliarity with professional play hindered them, but nervousness. Sometimes, it seemed like Happy's rookies were tougher than even many experienced pro players. And when Yi wasn't nervous, so why did he ignore Yi Shu's warning? Does he have other thoughts? Li Yibo spoke up. Happy's rookies couldn't be viewed from common knowledge. Rookies from other teams wouldn't hesitate to follow what their captain or senior instructed, but it was different for the players on Happy, who didn't seem to know what nervous meant. Having their own thoughts and ideas during a match shouldn't be anything strange, no. More importantly, Yi Shu's message wasn't an order, but a warning. How and when Yi would respond depended on himself. The camera switched over to and when Yi's little cold hands. Zhang Jolly's dazzling hundred blossoms was speeding up. The others on Tyranny had noticed this new target and started towards that direction as well. All of them were experienced seniors who had gone through hundreds of battles. This sort of tacit understanding between them was easy. They didn't need anyone to remind them. After retting this possibility, they just need to confirm which target would be more advantageous for them. Good. Zhang Jiali felt that things were looking good his dazzling hundred blossoms had entered his predicted range and started moving more carefully. It would be best to look as natural as possible to prevent his opponent from noticing him. Little cold hands didn't make any troublesome movements, which made them feel gratified. Keeping a rookie in the dark about his motives wasn't anything special. What was more rare was that Yishu didn't seem to have noticed either. What a great opportunity. What should I do next? This situation probably could not be maintained for long. Yi Shu would certainly notice it sooner or later. Zhang Jiali had started to ponder as he moved. Finally, he took a crucial step towards Little Cold Hands. But then, Little Cold Hands moved. Right when Zhang Jiali thought he had succeed, Little Cold Hands took a step, instantly making it so that Zhang Jolly's plans fell one step short. It was just one step? Most people probably hadn't noticed it, and of the people who had, how many of them understood the implications of this single step? And when you finally moved, Pan Lin shouted, WuxiaWorldAudio.com he hadn't realized that the single step taken by Little Cold Hands was a step away from great danger. This time, Li Yibo wasn't caught unprepared because he had been paying close attention to Dazzling Hundred Blossoms and Tyranny as a whole. Just before Pan Lin cried out those words, he was about to say how Little Cold Hands was about to meet much misfortune. But with that single step, those words were caught in Li Yibo's throat. What came afterwards was astonishment. Was it a coincidence? Or was it intentional? If it was intentional, and when Yi's observational abilities were incredible, and he dared to do it at the final moment, such confidence and gall was praiseworthy. Sure enough, Happy's rookies are all monsters. Even if and when Yi's technical skills were poor, he was outstanding in terms of his mental game. Due to his shock, Li Yi Bo Kep this in his heart. He forgot that he should also make some comments. As a result, the viewers outside didn't know the significance of that one step. On stage, Zhang Jiali felt it the most. Coincidence or intentional? For a moment, Zhang Jiali had the same thoughts as Li Yi Bo. Next, he need to test out this question. His dazzling hundred blossoms took another step. Little Cold Hands retreated another two steps. It's intentional. He wants to divert our attention. The difference in one step was the difference between rational and irrational. If they focused their offensive onto Little Cold Hands, whether it was just himself or the entire team, the outcome would be much worse. It would be better to continue attacking Lord Grimm and Dancing Rain. But even if they continued attacking Lord Grimm and Dancing Rain because of their slight adjustments to come here, they had sacrificed a bit of their offense as well. Not good. 
The new step that Dazzling Hundred Blossoms had taken to test little cold hands hadn't been a wise choice. He had been too eager to know the answer. It was just a single step, yet because of it, a small opening had appeared in tyranny's encirclement on Yi Shu and Su Ma Chung. Yi Shu, were you waiting for this opportunity? Sure enough, Zhang Jiali didn't see incorrectly. Yi Shu grasped this opening. Boom, boom, boom. Dancing Rain's cannon fire came from under the cover of Lord Grimm's umbrella. In an instant, the two seized that tiny opening and rushed out. The only who could block them was Lin Jingyun's dark thunder. But at this moment, the small screen on the broadcast focusing on Boundless Sea, showed movement. Boundless Sea locked onto dark thunder and rushed at him. Lin Jingyun understood Fang Rui. How could Fang Rui not understand Lin Jingyun? Between them, the only way to deal with the other was to seize a strategic moment. And this time, Fang Rui had succeed. In the end, he helped Yi Shu and Su Ma Chung escape, thoroughly destroying tyranny's encirclement. The viewers were stunned. Even now, they didn't know that the single step that and when Yi had made at the final moment was the reason for all of these changes. Dot. Falling short. Zhang Jiali felt extremely nauseous. He had felt this sort of defeat who knew how many times end chapter. The King's Avatar, Chapter 15 10 Stubborn People Who Refuse to Change, Audio Source, WushaWorldAudioBook.com Chapter 15 10 Stubborn People Who Refuse to Change Translator, Nomiyami Editor, Nomiyami Small Trick Two words popped up in Tyranny's chat. Before Zhang Xinji gave any orders, Han Wen King's Desert Dust rushed out. His target was Little Cold Hand, not Lord Grimm or Dancing Rain, who had just escaped. In the end, Han Wenqing and Zhang Xinji had been partners for many years. With this sudden change in circumstances, he reacted the fastest, grasping Zhang Xinji's thoughts before the words came out. The formation shifted towards Little Cold Hands, who had been their backup choice in case of an accident. Now that an accident had happened, Little Cold Hands was absolutely the better target compared to Lord Grimm and Dancing Rain. Those two had broken through their encirclement and convened together with Fang Rui. If and when Yi supported from the side as well, Happy could contend with tyranny directly. On the other hand, and when Yi's little cold hands was separated from the other three, Desert Dust took a big stride forward. It looked as if he were planning on attacking little cold hands, but at the same time, he cut off contact between and when Yi and the others on Happy. Reliable. He followed Zhang Xinji's reliable strategies. If this had been the old tyranny, he would have chased after Lord Grimm and Dancing Rain, fighting until his last breath. Han Wen King's Desert Dust would have certainly been at the forefront of the pursuit. The others on tyranny saw Zhang Xinji's orders and immediately reacted. They were slightly slower than Han Wen King, but they weren't too late. They immediately began coordinating with Han Wen King. And when Yi immediately had little cold hands retreat, but when Li Yibo saw this scene, he couldn't help but sigh. What's wrong, Coach Li? Pan Lin asked. It was very rare for Li Yibo to express such clear emotions during the playoffs. He's not experienced enough. In the end, and when Yi is too inexperienced, he could have waited for a bit longer to see if Yi Xu and the others could open up the situation and convene with him. But by running away, he's pulling away from Yi Xu and the others, making it more difficult for them to help him. Li Yibo explained. Right. Pan Lin thought about it and realized that Li Yibo was correct. Tyranny's Han Wen King was fast, but surrounding little cold hands in a short amount of time was impossible. Their intent was to set up an offensive towards little cold hands, restricting Happy's movements and seizing the initiative. By having little cold hands immediately run away, and when Yi was actually helping Tyranny, 
If they were able to completely separate and win ye from the rest of happy, it wouldn't just be taking the initiative, but taking the win. How could Tyranny's old generals miss such an opportunity? Burst. After conserving their energy for an entire season, if they didn't burst forth facing such a key opportunity, when else would they? Boom boom boom. Explosions would always be the loudest sounds on the battlefield. Zhang Jia Lei's dazzling hundred blossoms went all out, not holding back on any of his attacks. A beautiful symphony of light and shadows was put on display. Lin Jingyan's dark thunder immediately became more agile. He kept his distance from Lord Grimm, Dancing Rain, and Boundless Sea, using brawler skills like Provoke to harass them. Using a tiger's mouth to unsheath the blade was a phrase that suited his actions perfectly. Chin Myun's negative nine degrees attacked Little Cold Hands the most directly. However, his offense wasn't to block him but to urge him to move faster. Tyranny hoped to see Little Cold Hands run faster. The faster the better for Tyranny. At this point, all of the viewers understood what Li Yibo had been talking about. The important healer had been cut off from the rest of his team and was in danger of being chased down and killed. This situation was far more dangerous than Su Mu Chung and Yi Shi being trapped. Why isn't Yi Shi reminding and when Yi? Pan Lin said anxiously. It's too late. Li Yibo sighed. How could Tyranny leave an opening for Happy to rescue him? As soon as and when Yi took the first misstep, his retreat path was blocked off by Tyranny. In the end, Tyranny's players are too experienced. Experience. It was the most valuable treasure that old players had, and it constantly shined in Team Tyranny. Their team had the three most experienced players in the Glory Alliance apart from Yi Xu. Run. Right now, Little Cold Hands was just running. No one said anything in the happy chat to stop him. His little cold hands ran for his life. It was his only choice. However, this was exactly what Tyranny wanted. The faster he ran, the farther he ran, the easier it would be for Tyranny. Finally, little cold hands ran until Yi Xu and the others could no longer see him. They weren't able to maintain the distance between them because Tyranny had been attacking them the entire time. Lord Grimm and Dancing Rain weren't doing too well in terms of health after just narrowly escaping. Tyranny had a healer assisting them too, so there was no way for them to fight too forcefully. What's more, under Zhang Xinji's adjustments, Tyranny didn't become imbalanced from pursuing Little Cold Hands too excessively. As Little Cold Hands ran, Tyranny put less attention towards him. As Little Cold Hands gradually vanished from Happy's view, Tyranny also began to stop chasing after him until only Han Wenking's Desert Dust was the only one left in pursuit. Han Wenking vs. a rookie healer. On the other side, Yi Xu, Su Mu Chung, and Fang Rui, who weren't in the best conditions, had to fight against four players from Tyranny, among them a healer. It's over. Li Yibo really wanted to say these words. If this were the regular season, he would have made the conclusion. However, this was the playoffs. There was mystery all around, and he didn't dare hastily reach a verdict. What else could happen? Li Yiba carefully pondered over this question and thought of Happy's Luo Ji. The battle had reached this step already, yet Luo Ji still wasn't going to make his appearance. He wasn't sent to the stage just to watch on the sides, could he? Wait. A thought flashed through Li Yibo's mind. Han Wen King's Desert Dust chased after Little Cold Hands to kill him on his own. What if Luo Ji suddenly appeared to rescue Little Cold Hands? A summoner with a cleric's help could easily bully an extremely close-range fighter like a striker. Uh, I think. A question mark jumped out when Li Yibo thought this. Under normal circumstances, the striker would definitely be the one bullied. However, if the striker was Han Wenqing, the fierce tiger Han Wenqing, 
and Wen Yi. WashaWorldAudio.com. Luo Ji. These two were still university students and newcomers to the pro scene. Would they be able to hold down a wild tiger? I'll just have to wait and see. Li Yibo shifted his gaze. Even if the two took down Han Wen King, they would have to go through much effort. What about the other end? Could Yi Xu and the two others on Happy hold on against a strong offensive from four players on Tyranny? If the trade happened, the ones to lose out would probably be Happy. As expected, there are no holes. Truly worthy of Zhang Xinji. Li Yibo's final season at Tyranny was the year that Zhang Xinji joined the alliance. That season, Tyranny defeated Excellent Era, who was going for their fourth consecutive championship win, stopping their dominance over the Glory League. Zhang Xinji had left a deep impression on Li Yibo that season. He felt a bit ashamed though. At that time, the seniors had paid more attention to this junior's robot-like lifestyle. Zhang Xinji's talent at glory had been overlooked due to his peculiarities. It wasn't until they won the championships with this healer, who never made mistakes, did they finally realize how incredible of a talent he was. Separated by many years, Li Yibo looked at Zhang Xinji again. Zhang Xinji was more skilled and more experienced, but his style hadn't changed one bit. Everyone talked about Han Wenqing's ten years of perseverance, but in reality, what never changed in tyranny was Zhang Xinji, no. It'd be easier to kill him than change his habits. Two stubborn guys who refused to change had paired with each other despite their incompatibilities, yet they stubbornly persisted for so many years. They had won a championship, but they didn't start a new era of dominance. Perhaps this was where the issue lay. They made a few changes, but there were places where they never changed. And now, one of them had finally made some adjustments. Even though much of it was out of helplessness due to the passing of time, it wasn't a bad thing. The two core members of Tyranny, their sharpest spear and sturdiest shield, were finally fighting alongside each other together as one for the first time. Win. Li Yibo had always been a very very professional commentator. But at this moment, when he saw Tyranny realize the potential that they hadn't been able to realize for many years, at the final moments of Han Wenqing's career, he didn't hesitate to stand by Tyranny. He could only hope that it hadn't come too late. He hoped to see these two win another championship. Go Tyranny! Li Yibo cheered in his heart. He didn't lose his rationale though. If he expressed such obvious bias during the broadcast, he would probably be laid off. At this moment, the broadcast had finally cut to Luo Ji's perspective. Concealed light had been moving the entire time. A small screen had followed along for quite some time now. From his position on the map, Li Yibo could confirm Luo Ji's movements. Concealed Light wasn't moving to attack Han Wen King. Instead, he was rushing over to the side of the battle with more people. As expected, Team Happy wasn't stupid. Having Luo Ji ambush Han Wen King definitely wasn't a wise move. However, how much help could he provide to the other side? Tyranny's side had a healer. Even if it was a 4v4, Happy would still be at a disadvantage. Perhaps Happy was regretting not putting Tang Ro in first. With her energy and drive, no matter if she attacked Desert Dust or joined the other battle, she would have a better chance at turning the situation around. What could Luo Ji do? End chapter The King's Avatar Chapter 1511 Starting at 13 minutes 32 seconds Audio source WushaWorldAudiobook.com Chapter 1511 Starting at 13 minutes 32 seconds Translator Nomiyami Editor Nomiyami Happy's Luo Ji had finally appeared on the battlefield after 13 minutes and 32 seconds. All of the viewers watching were having trouble processing it. By this point, most team competitors were at the halfway mark. 
The faster matches would almost be over. But in this match one of Happy's players would only just be going in on the fight at this time. With one player missing the entire time, how had Happy survived up until now? When the viewers looked at the time and thought about this question, they were put into a daze. The more attentive viewers couldn't help but think of Happy's first match against Blue Rain in the playoffs. In that team competition, hadn't Happy been hiding one of their players while fighting against Happy? Today's match and that day's match were looking very similar. How had Happy won that time? When they searched through their memories to look for an idea, they suddenly remembered. Fuck what win. Happy lost that team competition, relying on their lead in the group arena to barely win that round. But today, Happy only had a one-point lead from the group arena. If they just narrowly lost the team competition like that match, it would end in a draw. Happy's goal for this match couldn't possibly be a draw, right? They couldn't think of an answer, so they could only wait and see. Devil World Flower Concealed Light's first summon was incredibly standard. He summoned a Devil World Flower to stabilize the battle. Then, boom boom boom. Smoke and fire pervaded the area, burning the Devil World Flower into ashes. Ha! The crowd burst into laughter. Gunners were the bane of the Devil World Flower. Their long-ranged attacks reached farther than the Devil World Flower could. Since the Devil World Flower couldn't move, it was basically a practice target for Gunners. In addition, the Devil World Flower took additional damage from light and fire elemental attacks. Gunner bullets naturally contain fire elemental properties, making it even easier for them to deal with Devil World Flowers. As a result, when facing a team with gunners, the usefulness of Devil World Flowers was very situational. Tyranny had two gunners, yet Liu Oji's first thought was to summon a Devil World Flower. Before the flower could even bloom, the two gunners shot it down. Tyranny fans laughed wildly. This rookie, who had been hiding for 13 minutes and 32 seconds, looked ridiculous. But soon afterwards, they stopped laughing. The Devil World Flower wasn't able to display its crowd control, but in that instant, a gap had appeared in the two gunners' offense. It wasn't that Zhang Jialei and Qin Muyun didn't know about this issue, but they had no choice. The placement of that Devil World Flower had been very tricky. If they hadn't eliminated it instantly, it would have interfered with Lin Jingyun's Dark Thunder, creating a gap in Tyranny's offense. In comparison, a brawler's ability to control the field was stronger than theirs, which was why the two gunners didn't hesitate to attack the Devil World Flower to minimize the opening created. But no matter how small the opening was, there was still an opening. Only a few players could grasp such a small opening, and unfortunately for Tyranny, Yi Xu happened to be one of them. Xing cut. A cold light flashed, and Lord Grimm instantly covered a length of distance from his original position. Brick. Lin Jingyun's dark thunder hurriedly threw a brick towards the back of Lord Grimm's head. Pa. Suddenly, Boundless Sea cut across the field, leaping horizontally into the air, knocking the brick away. This sort of move required not only precise inputs, but also accurate prediction. There perhaps might be no one but Fang Rui who could have accomplished this. Boom boom boom. The sound of cannon fire soon followed. Su Mu Chung's dancing rain fired her cannon as she moved, her target, immovable rock. After Lord Grimm used Xing Cut, he borrowed the trees as cover to avoid the gunfire from Tyranny's two gunners. At this point, his next target was very obvious. A movable rock. Grasping this small opening, Happy didn't run away. Instead, they launched a fierce counter-attack targeting Tyranny's healer. But Zhang Xinji didn't feel pressured. Happy's end goal was to retreat. By targeting a movable rock, they would force Tyranny to retreat to protect him. 
But even if he knew what Happy's plans were, there was nothing he could do about it, because if he ignored them, Happy had the capability to kill him in one wave. In that case, it would become a trade. Happy would kill him, but would suffer heavy damage from the rest of tyranny. However, whether this trade was worth it, depended on how Han Wenqing handled and when Yi. Zhang Xinji would always choose the most reliable path. A question mark appeared in the tyranny chat. Zhang Xinji wanted to know what Han Wenqing's situation was like. The reply was a bunch of ellipses. These ellipses meant that Han Wenqing didn't have an Wen Yi in his grasps yet. Zhang Xinji sighed. He could only give up on this trade. If he couldn't confirm the outcome of Han Wen King's battle, and when Yi might be able to rely on his familiarity with the terrain to run a circle around Han Wen King, convening back with his team. In that case, Happy would have their healer, while Tyranny would have no healer. Or perhaps, the corner of this map was a support zone. After Happy took him down and suffered heavy injuries as a result, they would sub in with their healthy sixth player and rescue little cold hands. Then, with the help of a healer, facing an alone Han Wen King. All sorts of possibilities flew through Zhang Xinji's mind. He wasn't sure which of these was Happy's true intent, but he knew that if Tyranny didn't make adjustments to protect him, the outcome would not be certain. As a result, a new order came from Zhang Xinji. His immovable rock would retreat, the two gunners would suppress Lord Grimm, while Lin Jingyan's Dark Thunder would retreat as well. As Zhang Xinji expected, Fang Rui and Su Mu Cheng immediately went on the offensive, breaking past Lin Jingyan's defensive zone. The battles on both ends began shifting away from each other. Everything had changed, starting from Luo Ji's Devil World Flower, the Devil World Flower that had been incinerated before it could even be fully summoned. The changes hadn't stopped yet. Even though Zhang Xinji pursued stability, he wouldn't just obediently comply with the opponent's intentions. At any moment, he would always look for the possibility of a victory by rushing the opponents. The retreating Dark Thunder suddenly dashed forward. Street Riot. He unexpectedly used a high-level skill. Bricks, bottles, needles, all sorts of low-level brawler skills began being thrown over. His target, Lord Grimm. Although he let Fang Rui and Su Mu Cheng go, Zhang Xinji wanted Yi Zhu to stay. When he saw that Happy wanted to attack him, he had asked Han Wenqing for his situation. It had taken some time for him to come to a decision. If he made the trade, the time used up here wasn't meaningless. But if he didn't make the trade, then Tyranny could take advantage of this time used up. Because of the delay, Happy had continued their aggression, which meant they would continue moving deeper into the enemy fray to reach him. The further in the target, the harder it was to retreat. Fang Rui and Su Mu Cheng had been let go. But once Tyranny focused on Lord Grimm, because he had ventured a bit deeper into their territory, trying to escape now would be much more difficult. Happy could try to loop around and rescue him, but if they did that, Tyranny would still have the initiative. Yi Xu, who was trapped, would be their bargaining ship. You'd better not think of leaving. Dark Thunder's Street Riot threw out a bunch of CC skills. Yi Xu could not ignore it. Sure. The myriad manifestations umbrella opened. Yi Xu wanted to use the shield to force his way past it. Rumble. A wave of energy split apart the air in front of him. Lord Grimm was pushed back. Implosion Grenade. The instant Zhang Jiale saw Lord Grimm open his umbrella, he tossed a grenade. Once the umbrella propped open, a dead angle would appear. Zhang Jiale recognized this point, and tossed the implosion grenade where Yi Zhu couldn't see it. Yi Zhu wasn't able to force his way through. The others on Happy hastily went to his rescue. Wushaworldaudio.com An eagle flew past. 
concealed light, who had only appeared on the battlefield after 13 minutes and 32 seconds, only now officially joined the battle. A Thunder Eagle was let out, firing a bolt of lightning towards Dark Thunder. Bang 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 bang. Amidst the gunfire, the Thunder Eagle stuttered. Chin Mayun's negative 9 degrees struck the Thunder Eagle, stopping the Eagle from moving in the air. Godlike came. It was a stunning display. Several Tyranny fans began shouting, Gunner King. The Thunder Eagle had been stopped, but the Four Beast style concealed light had more than one summon at his disposal. Spirit Cat. The nimble Spirit Cat suddenly scurried out from the grass. Bang. Floating bullet. The Spirit Cat was knocked into the air. Then, a grenade met with the Spirit Cat in the air. The shockwave from the explosion sent the spirit cat tumbling back to where it came from. The audience began laughing again. Every move that Luoji made looked like a joke. Tyranny dealt with them easily with flashy moves. But this time, their laughter halted even more abruptly than last time. Lord Grimm had broken through. Happy Su Muchung and Fang Rui didn't even need to act. Just Lu Oji's two summons gave Yi Xu enough of an opening to break through. No matter how unskilled the viewers were at this point, they had realized that Lu Oji wasn't as simple as they thought. Retreat. With Lord Grimm out, Happy began retreating. Chase. Tyranny went after them. They had no choice but to give chase because Han Wen King's desert dust was chasing after and Wen Yi's little cold hands alone. They had to prevent Han Wen King from getting surrounded by Happy. Question mark, quote dot dot. Zhang Xinji asked for the situation again, and